Hello, brothers and sisters in the Lord. It is a great, uh, beautiful Wednesday, and we come in the presence of God and thank Him for His faithfulness and His love for all of us. Today, I'd like to read from the Gospel from uh, John chapter 8, verses 47 to 59. John chapter 8, verses 47 to 59. Jesus said, he who is of God hears the words of God. For this reason you do not hear them, because you are not of God. The Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. But I do not seek my glory. There is one who seeks and judge. Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my words, he will never see death. And the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, and the prophets also. And you say, If anyone keeps my words, he will never taste death. Surely you are not greater than our father Abraham, who, who died. The prophets died too. Whom do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom I say, He is our God. And you have not come to know Him, but I know Him. And if I say that I do not know Him, I will be a liar like you. But I do know Him and keep His word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see this day, and he saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? And Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. Therefore he, they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Truly, we can see here how Jesus nails the truth that truly He is God. He is deity. And to the, to, the, to the Pharisees and to the religious leaders and even to the Jews at that time, it is a big horror to even um, make that claim. But Jesus was just speaking the truth and everything that He did in life, all the, uh, pointed towards that truth that he is of God. And actually, the, all of that pointed to the truth that he is the Son of God. And the beautiful thing here is that everything that Jesus did was bringing life to the people around him. It was giving health to the people the, who were sick. It was giving life to the dead, sight to the blind, you know, uh, everything that God uh, healing the people and here we can see the very action of God the very action of God through Jesus Christ and it's I, I like what he says here that you know um, he who uh, uh, who believe would uh, who if anyone who keeps my words he will never see death here Jesus proclaims that he is the author of life Life that is everlasting. And to them, it again, they, they couldn't believe this at, this at that time. And many, many times, you know, we are not different because we, we fail to see and to really actually believe. That's why we need the Word of God because it, it strengthens our faith to believe that God, uh, Jesus, has promised and He will give it. He said that I give you life and life abundantly and that life is seen in everything in, in 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 all our lives in all aspects of our lives it's manifested there i like also what he said in the last part of the reading today he said that truly truly i say to you before abraham was born i am this one really you know uh tip the 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 pharisees in the wrong way because when you make that claim that I am, yeah, that is a very holy, the holiest state 
I am. Before in, in Jehovah God said, I am the I am. And Jesus was making that very bold statement. For he is God. He is the Son of God. Here in this gospel challenges all of us to truly believe in God. We, we go through in life and we find challenges, uh, we, we find ourselves uh, confronted with issues, whether it's health issues, financial issues, and uh, we hope to see a manifestation of God's power in these areas. But it takes faith. It takes faith and believing in Him. But how can we have faith if we are not in the Word of God? For faith comes only by hearing and hearing the Word of God. If we truly immerse ourselves with the Word and receive the sacraments, we will grow in our faith and believe Him. And um, we can see ourselves from one degree of glory to another. As we see the words, the Word of God says it's like a mirror. A mirror. The Word is like a mirror. You know when we face a mirror, you, you, you conform to what you want the image of the mirror to display of you. And we confront, conform with the things that the, this mirror is showing to us. We, we, we grow from one degree of glory to another. My prayer, my friends and my brothers and sisters, that we truly grow in our faith, that we would truly believe God and, and see that He is the great I Am, seeing that He is the God who gives life and life abundantly, that He is greater than uh, any sickness and disease, and that He is truly, He said here, that He believes my word will never see them, never see them. Because he says that even though, you know, the psalmist said that even though I go through the valley of it, I will fear no evil because you are with me. You will never see them. We will never see them. So, my prayer, brothers and sisters, as we come to truly believe him, I pray and I encourage you, let us get immersed with the word of God. Let us receive the sacrament, the Eucharist, go to confession, and, and be involved in these uh, means of grace to us, gifts God's gift to us. Again, thank you very much for this time of uh, sharing me. The gospel today challenge us to be unlike the unbelieving, but be believing and believe that Jesus is the Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.